On September 11, 2001, I was at the Marriott World Trade Center in New York. The building shook and it sounded like we heard a bomb. And in retrospect, that was the first plane hitting the building. The immediate first instinct is stay calm. Um, keep everybody calm and get them as far away from whatever the danger is that we're at as fast as possible while being calm. Hi everybody, welcome back to school. I'm Ann Cavanaugh. I teach a class in the College of Communications and I'm also a DePaul grad. September is National Preparedness Month and DePaul is taking part in the program. We are a city university and many of us work in high-rise buildings. So there are some important things that we all need to know in case the worst would happen. Not just when we're teaching and working here at DePaul, but also in our own homes as well. Hi Jim, thanks for taking time for us hey. this afternoon. Good to see you again. Nice seeing you. This is Jim Marino, the Assistant Director of DePaul's Emergency Management Office. What are DePaul's goals with this program this month? The goal is to create awareness the, uh, on what to do uh, if an emergency takes place, not only uh, here at DePaul in our workplace, but also at home. And I know before coming to DePaul, you spent 30 years with the mm -hmm. Chicago Police Department, two years in counterterrorism. Mm -hmm. What are the most important things that faculty members and staff members can do if the worst happens here? It's important that we sit down with our families and and we, we talk about planning. We talk about a communication plan with contact numbers. It's also very important that uh, we have relocation sites picked out other than our home. In an emergency, what is the best form of communications when your cell phones don't work? What's the best thing to do? What is recommended today is to text first and then call second. So texting has a better chance of getting through to the person you're trying to contact. So for the older generation who don't text yet, this is a good excuse to learn how to learn do it, how right? To do it. Okay. Correct. There are some ways I've changed my behavior. One of the things I will not do is I will not check my bag, whether it be I mean, even if it's just my briefcase, because there's things in it that I need. Or and I always have with me really basic stuff: toothbrush, toothpaste, saline solution. I always carry it with me, um, which I didn't used to do but I carry a lot more stuff with me. My bags are heavier than they used to be. And I won't check my coat if it's cold out because there is that sense of, if I've got to get out of here fast and it's 20 degrees below zero wind chill out, I want that coat because I know I'm not gonna have time to go get it out of Chuck. Now, Jim, you have brought some kits to show us. You say everybody should have an emergency kit, whether it's at home, in the classroom, in the office. Yeah, these are, uh, these are really great. These are emergency kits. They have a lot of uh, different things that will need to sustain us for at least uh, 72 hours. Uh, here's some water packets. Okay. And uh, they suggest that each individual has one gallon of water per 24 hour period. We have food rations. Okay. And uh, obviously the, all the safety kits are gonna have a uh, first aid kit in one form or another. Okay. Now these two packs have been prepared by the Red Cross. This is my pack. I, uh, okay, again, let's see what the expert has. And, and, <laughs> well, I have pretty much the same as the other packs. Uh, one of the things I have in here that I really like uh, is a radio and, and a flashlight. And what this is, is, is a crank radio. So I really don't need batteries. So I can crank it up to, to turn it on, turn on the light. And it also has a solar window panel that could charge uh, batteries also uh, that way. And, and what's great about this one is it's capable of charging cell phones. Now, especially in our Loop campus, we have high-rise buildings, and if there ever was an issue with having to go down the stairs, I know the high heels I have on would do me absolutely no good. So Correct. everybody, especially women, should have a comfortable pair of shoes in the office, in the classroom. Having a great pair of shoes just speeds up the process of evacuation. This was all great information, Jim. Where can people go for additional tips? Go to emergencyplan.depaul.edu and that will give them a lot of information. Okay, well thanks so much. It was great talking with you. I certainly learned a lot. Well, thank you. And good luck everybody at DePaul. Let's hope it's a productive and safe school year.